Dear colleagues, in this video, I am going to show capsulorexis, pre-chop and cortical cleanup in four cases. This is the first case. Capsulorexis is being done by the uterata forceps. This is a real-time video clip. You can see the rexis size is about 5.25 millimeter. Hydrodissection is done. The nucleus is tapped, but the nucleus is not rotated. And now I place the pre chopper just in front of the rexis margin at the main wound. Pre chopper is embedded completely. And now the sustainer hooks the opposite equator. The two instruments are brought to each other. They get a very nice cleft. One heminucleus is then divided into two pieces. And now the antechamber is filled up with visco. And then the handpiece is taken and the handpiece goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down. The same sustainer that has been used for pre-chop is in the left hand. The two pieces are emulsified. Now we come to the seminucleus. It is divided into two pieces by the sustainer. In soft cataracts, we don't need any sharp instrument to divide the heminucleus into pieces. This round bodied sustainer is okay. And now some visco fill up the capsular bag and the anterior chamber and this is coaxial IA from Oatly. This is fast. Coaxial is done. Now let us see another case. Capsulorexis is being done real-time video clips all of these four cases and this is actually an elliptical rexis hydrodissection is done the nucleus is tapped and little push was given. Visco again filling up the anterior chamber. Now the pre-chopper goes. The pre-chopper is embedded in the lens cataract substance. The sustainer hooks the opposite equator. The two are brought to each other and we divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. Now we divide the nucleus 90 degree and cut on heminucleus into two pieces. Visco again to fill up the AC and now the handpiece is taken, goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down, the tip of the phaco needle has its bevel down. One piece is emulsified this is the second piece. And now come to the heminucleus. So easily we can divide by the sustainer. This ball tipped sustainer is 
a nice instrument it the ball can protect the PC much better than a chopper. And now the anterior chamber and capsular bag is filled up with visco. In this case, I have cleaned the cortex with this instrument, a 23 gauze Simco. This is real time and see how quickly we can do this. And after cleaning with Simco, the posterior capsule is more clean. This is the third case, capsular axis is being done by the uterator forceps. Size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter. Hydrodissection is done with 27 Gauss cannula. The nucleus is tapped, but the nucleus was not rotated much. And now the pre chopper goes. It is embedded just in front of the rexis margin at the main wound, fully embedded. Tip length is 1.8 millimeter. And the sustainer hooks the opposite equator. The two instruments are brought to each other, and I find that the antechamber is very shallow. So I do not remove the sustainer just injected some visco, I go again at this time, I embed it again at the periphery and try to divide both the heminuclei. Inject visco again, take the handpiece, the phaco needle goes in, goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down and I get a free nuclear piece and start emulsifying. And now this is the heminucleus that has been divided into two pieces and emulsified. come out, inject visco, and now I take the coaxial IA and remove the cortex. Coaxial IA is really fast, but sometimes difficult to remove the sub incisional cortex. This is the fourth case. This is a diabetic gummy cataract. The patient is having diabetes for the last 12 years. In such cases, it is really difficult to divide the nucleus by direct chop or by divide and conquer technique. Though the cataract is soft, it is so sticky that it does not want to separate. Very difficult to get pieces with other techniques, but with this pre chopper, we are going to get very nice clean pieces. The pre chopper goes into the anterior chamber is placed just in front of the rexis margin at the main wound. The opposite e equator is hooked by the sustainer and here it is. We divide the 
nucleus into two pieces, two heminuclei. One heminucleus is then subdivided into two fragments. So, we have got three pieces and now the hand piece goes in one piece is picked off and it is emulsified. Whenever we get large pieces, we can subdivide the large fragments into smaller fragments by the sustainer. Now, we come to the heminucleus, stab it at the middle part and divide it into two pieces by the sustainer. This is the last nuclear fragment. So, we have seen four cases, all these surgeries have, have been done today and it is really a useful tool in soft cataracts. When in hard cataracts, probably we need a sharp left hand instrument. In this case, I clean the cortex by the hand piece itself. This looks dangerous, but uh, it has a learning card and if we learn this, we can do it safely at least 50 to 80 percent of cortex can be removed safely by the handpiece itself. If any uh, remaining cortex is there, we can remove it by Simco or by manual. So, thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will encourage you to use pre-chopper for managing soft cataracts.